It was in the 1970s when the BASF, a major German producer of chemicals, and back in the days one of the biggest tape manufacturers in the world, came up with a new invention. These cassettes, out of that certain time period, are having two letters, SM. Also this nice one with a shiny finish on it. SM. Well, what does that mean? Well, you turn it around and you find out it means security mechanism. And it is, in fact, a BASF trademark. So, what is the security mechanism? Well, unlike a lot of uh, later solutions from other producers that uh, more or less were just very minor modifications to the cassette housing or uh, that involved replacing certain parts of uh, the plastic cassette housing with uh, ceramic or uh, something like that. In this one, the security mechanism actually is a system that is very well noticeable and uh, sets this apart from other cassettes. So you can see also on here we do have a little label, security mechanism. Well, let's go ahead and take this cassette apart and have a look inside. Here we have the inside and uh, the most obvious thing I guess is the red leader tape. Red in this case standing for 60 minutes of playing time. Blue stood for 90 minutes and yellow for 120 minutes. The second obvious thing is there are two additional tape guides right here and right there. And what these do, they basically as a tape moves along, they scrape the tape off of the reel. So they ensure that uh, none of the layers will stick together and uh, cause a mess of uh, any kind. So uh, that's basically what the security me mechanism is all about. Nice idea. Here we have a higher quality chromium dioxide super cassette also equipped with security mechanism and since this one comes with a nice big window you can actually see the additional tape guide right there and uh, as I said 90 minutes blue leader tape. The security mechanism was not only available for chrome cassettes it was also available for normal position cassettes or as the BASF called them for many many years LH cassettes meaning low noise, high output. Not on the cheapest ones available. This is already one step up, the LH Extra. And also on this one, you can see the little guide right there. Here we have a newer Chrome Dioxide 2 cassette. This was from the early 80s, 1981 to 1982, I believe. The BASF changed the design of their cassettes rather quickly. And uh, as you can see on this one, no more colorful leader tape. But we still do have the security mechanism right there. And that is also being advertised on the case, on the inlay. This is the next cassette that came out. This is 1984-1985, I believe, came after this certain design. And uh, there were many, many different variations. The BASF also quite happily mixed various different parts they happened to have in stock. So uh, this one, once again, has a blue leader tape for the 90 minutes. This is the next thing, 1986-1987, around that time period. So you can see they shortened down the name from Chrome Dioxide Super 2 to CRS 2. <laughs> That's quite a bit of a change. Other than that, you can see they slightly modified the, uh, the cassette shell and uh, basically they just filled the, the big window with uh, some black plastic and they got the small window. And uh, on this one, no more label for security mechanism. And uh, no more security mechanism label on the inlay either. So the only way to find out if this cassette does have 
the security mechanism is to actually take it apart. And uh, I do remember, I do remember I once took one of these apart and it had the security mechanism. So let's just take this one apart and see what's going on inside. And what do you know? We do have the security mechanism. There have also been versions, that's why I uh, was kind of uncertain, there have also been versions without security mechanisms. In those cases they just lift these, uh, these teeth away. However, the mounting pins that these are sitting on were still there. After this version, they changed the style of their cassettes quite a bit. This is a 1988-1989 version. I am pretty sure, and uh, well, let's just take a look inside and see what's going on in there. And what do you know? Surprise, surprise! Even that version had the security mechanism. Didn't know about that. Well, that's very interesting. And uh, it's also interesting considering that this was not even their top of line chrome cassette. This was just the chrome extra, and uh, the top of the line was the chrome super. So uh, that's actually, that's pretty interesting. So this 1990, 1991, 1992, 1993 BSF cassette has to be the first one not to feature the security mechanism anymore. I, uh, I do know that for sure because you can actually, you would be able to see it through the big window. So you can see these cassettes are looking much nicer than uh, these weird things. But um, I think this was also the first series in which uh, the BSF introduced a cassette that was even higher, uh, even higher up than Chrome Super. That was called the Chrome Maxima. I'm not entirely sure about that, though. Um, but, uh, well, you know what? Let's just take this one apart, nice golden screws, and uh, see what's going on inside. And also, this one is the first one where they went and... Uh, called this two sides A and B, because up until then they had always called them, oh shit, anyway they would always called them 1 and 2, you can see the little 2 down there. Since it just happened to fall out of the 1988 cassette, here is one of these teeth close up. So you can see the tape is running across, there is actually a groove inside of there to guide the tape and the surface where it runs across uh, the tape that's, uh, that's actually a rough surface another interesting thing are the screws as you can see for this cassette they use these screws right there and for the newer cassettes, this is for 1988, they use these cheapo screws with just two turns. These are for the 1990 version, just uh, the same things in gold. This is, uh, this is the 1990 cassette itself. Let's take this apart. And, well, once again, no more security mechanism, as I just said, but a little posts, the little mounting posts, are still there. So uh, I just take away this uh, foil, take one of the teeth out of that cassette. As you can see, we can actually fit one in with no problems. There it is. <laughs> it's that simple. But uh, of course it, uh, it does not belong into there, so let's just put that back into there. So, as you can see, they were still thinking about it. Now, after this one, the BSF didn't change the looks of their cassettes anymore that much. For the most part, the only modifications they made to the cassettes were different uh, labels. Uh, there were a different version. There was also a so-called Chrome Super Quality 2, which uh, was kind of a kind of a cheapo supermarket affair that uh, they sold. That was also in this kind of housing. And uh, then there was the changeover. The BSF at some point sold their whole entire magnetic media business, or um, actually recording media business in general. And uh, that was then called MTech. 
And uh, so you can see still the little squirrely thing, the little record that is supposed to be right there. But it was called MTech and uh, CS2 Chrome Super. And this one, of course, different housing. Let's just take this one apart, see what's going on inside of there. Of course, uh, this is, uh, well, I don't think they made this in, uh, in Europe anymore. But, well, let's just take a look inside. Yep, no more security mechanisms in these and uh, no more mounting posts for the, uh, for the teeth to go. Well, probably when they, uh, when they took over that, uh, that design right there, they probably didn't know what those little posts were supposed to do anymore anyway. So I um, just left that away. But, uh, there is that. So uh, <laughs> not only have I uh, given you a bit of a uh, talk through of the uh, BASF security mechanism, you've also just seen a bit of a history of BASF cassettes from the late 70s all the way up until today. And uh, by now MTech uh, no longer makes cassettes, so uh, these are not available anymore. Now, in case you're wondering why we've almost exclusively been looking at BASF Chrome cassettes and uh, at only one normal position cassette, now, the uh, thing is, in Germany, Chrome cassettes have always been way more popular than normal position cassettes. And as a matter of fact, the BASF was one of the companies heavily advertising Chrome cassettes as being much more, much better much higher quality, much more reliable than normal position cassettes. And by the way, the BASF was not the only company to feature the security mechanism. ACFA, which was the other major German tape manufacturer, ACFA actually made films and tapes. They actually, as you can see, we have a nice, this is an early 80s, like 1981, with this nice little pattern right there. Shiny little thing. This is a stereo chrome. There has also been a super chrome uh, which uh, had a golden label instead of uh, the silver one. But as you can see they do have the security mechanism under license. And they are actually giving you a little symbol right there showing you what's going on. What the security mechanism actually means. Well the cassette inside looks uh, not really spectacular, but uh, let's go ahead and take a look inside of this one. Well, you can tell ACFA was somewhat cheaper than the BASF. They replaced the fifth screw with a, uh, with a pin, so it was a bit complicated to get this apart. These, uh, these um, well, these are not even foils, this is some kind of a wax paper of some sort. That can cause problems from time to time. I uh, had cases in which I had to replace this with uh, with one of uh, with a plastic foil like uh, like uh, these. But uh, there we have it. Two teeth and uh, oh, let's just take a look. Uh, I do have some uh, some tape residue on this one. It, uh, well, well it, it is the same. It, uh, it is the same. Not exactly, but basically also in here we have a rough surface in which all the, uh, all the tape dust got caught in. Well, you can scrap that off, so not too bad. These, uh, these BS, um, no, not BSF, these ACFA tapes, um, they like to have problems with, uh, way too much tape dust coming off of the tape. So uh, anyway, that's that one and uh, that's it about this video. So uh, <laughs> hope it was interesting. BASF security mechanism. Thanks for watching.